Okay, let's let's talk about water testing. A couple of resources real quick. When this all started coming up, it's right. Yeah, we got to have water testing, right? We got to figure out what's going on. Uh, what type of tests to do, though, and how do we measure and monitor it? Which ones are going to be specifically good for this? Well, here's one resource, uh, water quality indicators at the Lower Colorado River Authority site. A uh, good site to go down and uh, learn about water testing. Uh, I'll give you a verification uh, from another source uh, here, but this should be good. Uh, specific conductance is the test that we're going to zero in on. That is the go-to test for pollution, basically. It happens to be an old favorite. This is the distilled water doesn't conduct electricity, but salinated or salt water does, uh, which we all did in general physical sciences in high school uh, in Texas. Um, so it's an old favorite. Uh, expected levels here to remember because they never change. 300 to 700 micro siemens, if you remember that, micro siemens per centimeter. 300 to 700 Colorado uh, River watershed, but generally expected everybody's, you know, under a thousand. All right. Um, let's go over here to the USGS site. There's a lot of different USGS sites and pages, so please go to this exact coordinate, all right? It confirms that specific conductivity offers uh, some interesting, uh, is the test, confirms that that's a good test, um, goes into it right here. Um, please read this section right here and pay attention, domestic, industrial, and agricultural. Of all, immediately we should probably be worried about industrial. Uh, I'll get to that in another video later, but um, you know, what are these, what effect will these chemicals have being introduced into the air and in the environment? on industrial applications at, tech, at BP's Texas, shouldn't they be concerned? What's going to happen at their Texas City site now with these chemicals introduced? Because they, um, at uh, high dissolved solids concentration can cause deterioration of plumbing fixtures and appliances. Well, when it comes down as rain and it, and it rains on their own piping, are they going to run into uh, events over it as well? Okay, so read about that, all right? definitely right here at that. Now, another site that you have to have the exact coordinates right for, uh, go to the um, USGS Water Alert site, okay? Right here, very, very easy. Water.usgs.gov slash water alert. Um, no www. Um, scroll down to the site selection, if you would, and we're going to go through some testing, okay? Let us start at, uh, in California. Just pick California and then pick water quality. These are our federal dollars at work um, monitoring and giving us freely uh, for our federal taxes information, monitoring information on our rivers, streams, lakes, okay, wherever they decide to monitor. So we'll start here in Sage Hen or Truckee, California. Sage Hen Creek, maybe? Specific conductivity right here. If I, if you click on it, I'll tell you right here, it'll give you specific conductivity measurement reading, micro Siemens per centimeter. If you want further information, you pop on the site number, click on it, and you'll see uh, some different, uh, it starts out on the seven days. You can go as far as 120. We're on graph. Just leave the defaults as is and scroll past the temperature, scroll past discharge, scroll past gauge and height, and here you are, specific conductance. And as you can see, they have equipment in place which monitors it on a daily, hourly basis, two hourly basis, on a daily basis, 12 hour, I don't know. Okay, but it monitors it. That's very good because you need that because it's been as low as, what, 50? Been as high as almost, oh, well, that's not 50. That's probably, 90, I don't know, 98, 97, 96, and it's been as high as 102, 103, 104. Something like that, and it's uh, throughout the week. It's been relatively in the same area. Okay, pretty clean water. Now let us go to uh, you check out some other sites in California for yourself, and uh, see what you think of their water quality. It looks pretty good. Um, let's go down to Louisiana, or no, let's go to Texas first. Texas water quality, where I live. There we go. Um, Let's, uh, I want to, one of the areas we've documented as being heavily uh, burned is in Wichita Falls, so let's uh, 
Jump over here, uh, 21,700. Uh, please remember, we should be looking at 300 to 700 levels, okay? 300 to 700. You know, 1,000, 1,100 means there's, uh, maybe there's a landfill close, or maybe there's uh, some, uh, there was a fire, chemical fire, or there was a fire or something, but here we go. And this is 21,700 today in North Wichita River near Paducah, Texas, Paducah, Paducah, Texas. Have you guys, uh, what are these readings doing so high? It's gotten as low as just under 19,000, but not below 18,500. Let's look at the, um, let's go 60 days out. Sixty days out, we've got as high as twenty-five thousand. Peaked a couple times and fell down, I guess, to a thousand here. But if we look at the amount of area, here's a thousand to five thousand, or these one, two, three grids right here. It's barely in this one, so really two grids. Outside of that, everything's been five thousand and above. Let us um, let's uh, check some other spots here. Middle Wichita, thirteen thousand six hundred. North Wichita, thirteen thousand three hundred. Forty three hundred at Benjamin, Texas. Do you all know your, your specific conductivity is at forty three hundred? Let's look and make sure that we're not looking at anomalies. That one's the lowest one, so let's take the lowest one. Seven days out. Pacific kind of, wow, it was at 12,000 earlier this week. We're at uh, 4,300 today, South Wichita River near Benjamin, Texas, but it was at 12,000 for most of the week, actually. And it dropped to 7,000, and dropped as low as, I don't know, 21, 22. Okay, so now, Let's go down to Louisiana. Got water quality in. Well, that's loading. Why don't we... Well, there you go. Let's look at some readings here. 27,900. Now, let's look at where we are. We are in Louisiana. Right here is about ground zero, I guess, for the wellhead, right? What do we clip on? Caillou? 27,900 Caillou Bay. All managed by the Baton Rouge Field Office. Uh, seven days. Where's the specific conductivity? Right here. Earlier in the week it was uh, up around 34,500. Okay, let's say that Colorado, Lower Colorado River Authority, you know, let's say that it could be double or triple what they say, 2100, you know, instead of 700 for a, for a higher reading or whatever. 34,500. Let's look at uh, some others. That, that's good da data as well, by the way. Just I'm just going to go back to it real quick just because, you know, that's one thing that we should look at because on a daily basis, Specific conductivity on a daily basis. It looks like they're doing it more than once a day. They're testing it more. So look at the variations between that. As low as 26,000 maybe, as high as 34,500. On a daily basis, it can vary that much. So it's very important to be testing this all the times during the water. Look at these rates. Let's look around. Terria. Terrier Pass. Uh, you guys should really go and check this out for yourself. And uh, I promise you all of the rates down here are just awful. Awful, awful, awful. Here's a specific conductance this week for the Terrier Pass. 15,000 to almost 30,000. 30,000 on July 24th, apparently, uh, but roughly in there, you know, roughly between 15,000 and 20, 
twenty-five thousand, we'll say, is the average. Twenty-five thousand. You guys have a good look. And one, the thing is, is getting back to Texas, just real quick to end up here. You know, of course I'm concerned because I live here and I've got all my family here and I've got a lot of people I love here. But you know, these rates, thirteen thousand six hundred. Why so heavy here? Well, you know, it's like Texas is like a sweet spot. This look at this storm right here. Grabs that Gulf stuff and just brings it right up. We're kind of a sweet spot for Gulf moisture up in North, North Texas when storms come in. It's just kind of a sweet spot. So you guys go and um, have a look for yourself and um, remember that these uh, these um, specific conductance tests like uh, right here in um, Bateria, Barataria Pass, Barataria Pass at Grand Isle, Louisiana 15,000 to almost 30,000 varying on a daily basis um, by 100% I guess you know why somebody should start asking what are all these chemicals doing to our water and what are they doing as they enter the hydrological cycle